Hello all, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about how to encrypt the password and how to decrypt the password in C programming. So let's do the same thing practically. Here in integer main, let me declare here one array variable that is password. So I'm writing here care password of 20. Now I want to ask to the user that printf enter your password. Now I want to get the password from the user. So I'm writing here scanf percentage s and we will get the password that is password variable. Now I want to encrypt this password with the key. So we can create one function over here. That function is for example void encrypt and in this function we will get the password from the user that is character password array as well as we will get the key from the user to encrypt the password. So here we can simply run the loop that is for integer i equal to 0, i less than and that is the length of the password. So we can call the function str length of password i plus plus. Whenever you are calling the function str length, use the header file that is has include string dot h. Now here you can add your key or you can deduct your key. So here in encryption, we will simply subtract our key and in the decryption, we will add our key. So I'm simply writing what that is password of i is equal to password of i minus key. So this password will be encrypted and here you can print your encrypted password also. So let me call here function that is encrypt and here you can pass your password and key. For example, my key is 0x a e d. Now here your password will be changed. So your original password will be now encrypted. So you can print this password. For example, printf percentage s and you can print your password. Whenever you print this password, it will be encrypted. For example, let me run over here. Let me write the message over here. And that is, for example, hello. Whenever you press enter, see here, this password is encrypted. That is, hello is encrypted. Now, I want to decrypt this password. So, there is a one simple function. You can simply copy your encrypt function. And you can give the name of your function is decrypt. What we will do? Simply. Here we are subtracting the key. Here we will simply add the key. So here we will pass plus key. Now my password is changed. My password is encrypted now. So I can call the function that is a decrypt to decrypt the password in which I can pass the password. Password is now encrypted as well as you can pass the key. For example, 0x a e d. So this is my unique key that I will pass over here. Now, if you print your password, then your original password will be retrieved back. Now, you can simply build and run your code. Now, it is asking me for the password. For example, hello is my password. Then you can say this is the encrypted text and this is the decrypted text. Here, you can write this lesson so it will look better. Here, you can write this lesson and you can write this lesson over here also. Now, you can simply build and run your code. Now it is asking me for the password. For example, my password is Parag. Then it is a simply, you can say that Parag is encrypted and this is the original password that is Parag. So you can say this is the encrypted text and this is the decrypted text. Not only this, if you want to mask the password, then you can write one more function over here that is void mask password. Here you can get the input of a password from the user and based on that, you can mask the password. So here you can declare the variable character ch and you can declare the variable integer i is equal to 0. One by one, you can get the character into ch using the underscore get ch function until and unless user does not press enter. So not equal to 30. Now here you can print the value star whenever user press any character asterisk will be displayed and you can store that particular character into password of i is equal to ch you can simply increment the value of i and at last you can do what password of i 
is equal to null to end the string. Now what happened? Whenever you are getting the scanf instead of scanf, now you can call the function and the function is mask password and in which you can pass your password. You can simply build and run this particular code. Now it is asking me for the password. For example, I'm writing here that is hello. So my password is masked over here. Encrypted text is this and decrypted text is hello. So this is the way you can mask your password, encrypt your password and decrypt your password. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.